mask is that, Millie? Yeah. I don't know. I kind of feel like Jan would look better. You have a paper first. You have proof of paid fair for the library. No, 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 And just so you guys notice, we weren't targeting down there. Uh, it's okay, I'm just going to sue you out. anyway. It doesn't matter whether I was targeted or not. The statutes aren't constitutional. No problem, sir. You need to make sure you get on one of the next trains, though. Okay. No loitering on the platform. No, we weren't even loitering. How do you know we weren't going to buy it? It's a paid fare. How do you know I wasn't going to buy a ticket? I was just barely sitting right The code says once you enter the platform, you're required to have paid fare. Immediately I have to buy a ticket. What's your current address? My address is 99 South Church. I'm homeless. Okay. <laughs> I don't even live in Phoenix. I'm from Tucson. Yeah, we're uh, being transported down there. We're right a couple seconds. Okay, I got uh, uh, boxes from the community relations guy. John, we're in a civil process. No problem. We expect to be same as all those other cases that the Supreme Court was ruling. You're allowed to protest on anything that is a public forum. And you're also allowed to pass out flyers and all that stuff. There's actually a real recent case. It's a, a, a Watchtower versus Stratton, where the Jehovah's Witnesses were handing out flyers in the New York City train station. And the Supreme Court ruled that they're allowed to do that under the First Amendment. So yeah, I'll be seeing you in the court. So that is that is your right to go to court and, yeah. and, and we'll get that law them. changed and then I'll be seeing you. Absolutely. And then when they change it, we won't. No, it won't be no one change. day. They're going to change it because you gave me a ticket, so I'm going to sue them. As you soon as the city government to. tries to enforce the ticket, I'm suing because it's a violation of the Constitution. That's how that works. It's a citation. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, it does. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can be right here without a fair if I'm passing out flyers. The Constitution is going to say that. Not according to the public city of Phoenix. Civil. The city of Phoenix don't matter. Okay, the I don't federal the Constitution is what matters. The federal Constitution has to be followed even above the city of Phoenix. When, when what if the, the city of Phoenix said right judges. now all black people need to leave the city? Would that be just? It's the city of Phoenix code. If somebody would go to court and they would try. It's, it's the city of Phoenix code. It says all black people have to leave the city. There is no what, I'm just saying, what if the city made a law that said that right now? They Before, there was no light rail, and then they invented this. So then they invented the law. Just because they invented a law doesn't mean that law's just or that it's fact. It just means they invented a law. That's all it means. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not concerned with that. I'm sorry, sir. Did you have proof of fair? Mr. Cooper, what's your address? Proof of fair. I'm homeless. Okay, we got it. Thank you. Stood in my way right now. What? what? This is crazy. Stood <laughs> in your way about what? First Amendment to the United States Constitution, sir. This is a public forum. 
Or did you guys forget about yeah, public private. forums in the city of Phoenix? Public forum, but yes. you're on private property. It doesn't matter if it's private. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I'll Sorry. bet you 100 bucks it doesn't. Okay, so then this private property, they can say no black people can ride the light rail, no black people can come on this property, and that will be legal. According to what you're saying, it's private property, right, sir? Nobody's saying that, sir. I'm just saying. Then they can't they can't discriminate against any rights. That's why they're called rights. You can go to court. You have the right to go to yeah, court. Yeah, and I'm going to win, and then I'm going to clap. And we got you on tape saying that because you don't respect anyone's rights, right? You don't care about rights, do you? Of course I do, sir. That's why I'm here. We enforce people's rights. Do you really? Absolutely. Okay, so then you need to enforce the First Amendment, too. <laughs> Are you a cop? I am, yes, sir. Okay, so but how? City so, of Phoenix, please. Check this out. Explain to me how a cop could enforce a private rule if that not private a, rule violates the federal constitution. He can't it's because you took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. You said this is private property, so you're enforcing private rules, sir. How can you it's enforce a, city a of private Phoenix rule? Code. Okay, so then that means this is public. If it's a city of Phoenix right. code, it's public. Then it's either public or private. You got to choose There's one. There's liquor laws that enforce on private law, sir. On private property. Those are Liquor laws codes. that are enforced on private right. property. Yeah, like you can enforce any rule on private property. I'm not saying you can't. You know what, sir? I'm not going to argue what, along with you. What I am saying is, I know is that you cannot is. enforce an unconstitutional law if you're a cop. Just I know that. Circle, sir. I know you can't you're enforce an unconstitutional law. It, no. Go free, go to court and I'm going to go to court. I'm going to sue you. You guys are going to be the defendant. You know what I mean? Not me. I'm just gonna file a lawsuit and we'll see if the judge agrees with me. It's gonna be funny though, because we got all this on tape. So now, when we do sue and we do win, then the question's gonna be, how many of these cops standing out here actually take their oath seriously? Because if you take an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States, that means you take that oath to uphold it against other people when those people are violating someone's rights. So that means everyone who's a cop right here is liable for the violation of my Constitution. Yeah, never for refusing to leave the zone. I never refused. I never refused. I was just trying to get your name. You are waiting for your citation, right? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? How am I refusing it? Here's your information on the back of the envelope here. Oh, I'm not concerned with that. Come on. Citation. Yeah, I'm not done with you. You guys can't scare us off the pickets like we do in the occupied Phoenix. Nobody's trying to scare you, sir. We're trying to enforce the law. You guys, 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 you already know I'm gonna leave as soon as I get my emails. Yeah. No, he has a paid fare. We'll be so back. When the we next train back. So he needs to get on the next train now, because this one came away. Okay. So maybe that's the time for Look, just this right here by itself is probably unconstitutional in and of itself. And the reason why is What's because your the amount of force that appears. For a couple of people. Northwest? Probably violate the Constitution. You know what I mean? And that's apartment or what? Where is it at? Phoenix? Tucson, Tucson, Arizona, 8575. Yeah. Right, look at that on channel 3 and channel 10. I recommend channel 10. They're better than Channel 10 is better than Channel 10. Where are you from, Mr. Cooper? I'm from Tucson. Never spent any time in New Mexico? Yeah, I got a warrant for $50 in New Mexico. $50? Yeah, $50. It's no, a felony warrant. It's not a felony. What you think it's $50. It's just not an extra right now. It's not a felony. It's $50. I'm just saying, that's what they said. Well, it's not a felony. Well, <laughs> your friends can know you got a felony warrant out of New Mexico. Well, it's not a felony. It's all right. Yeah. We don't care. Yeah, <laughs> we don't care. We don't, I mean, yeah. you guys. A warrant for marijuana. So That's what it's for. It has, it has no bearing. Did you say what it was for, though? I know they told you. No, no, they, marijuana. They don't, they don't, John, they don't bother. It's not extraditable. They don't bother telling you. No, I'm just saying it's, it's marijuana. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? For some weed. Okay. John, just so you know. I got my ID, so I'm out of here. Okay. Just to explain to you guys, the bottom of the citation is my vaginal. 
Okay, that's all cool. Well, I'm gonna find out who all you guys are anyway because we're wow. All right, well, my, my, my show number is above that. Where can I stand that's not part of this? Long show off the platform. Prior to the TVM. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.